I'm Phyllis. I live in my van. Buddy. Hi, this is Jay. <laughs> I met him yesterday. He was walking down the road. Would you like to tell us about the way that you live? Um, I travel. Um, I live out of a backpack. Um, I travel with my dog and my cat. Um, right now I'm on my way to Colorado. I want to learn how to snowboard. How long have you been living this way? Since I was 18. They don't know how old you are now. Um, 10 years. <laughs> So you've been doing this for 10 years. Are you happy with living on the road like this? Yeah, I love it. I meet all kinds of interesting people like yourself. Um, I like seeing new things and I like adventures. Um, and that brings So me you're a nomad. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, most of my viewers are nomads or thinking about being a nomad. And this is a different way to be a nomad. You don't have a vehicle. I do not. Um, I'm planning on getting one soon. I kind of want a motorcycle. Um, but for now, the backpack, I usually bust or I, or hold out my thumb. Um, and I, I enjoy it a lot. One thing I wanted to touch on that I thought was really interesting was different perspectives on safety. Because, like, I'm a nomad, I live in a van, and I picked up a hitchhiker. And you might say, well, that's really risky for you. But then we were talking yesterday about you think the risk is more on the hitchhiker uh, statistically. um and so statistically but what a, what's the risk that you, what's what are you worried about when you get into someone's vehicle that you don't know um, what's the risk i would say anything from um them having drugs and being um maybe a violent individual to maybe having mental illness to maybe them trying to steal my pets or my gear um it could be it could be almost anything um and then, so i think that i think that's really interesting because if you're thinking about picking up a hitchhiker you might think about that hitchhiker might be actually more worried about you i have those kind of anxieties um, than you are about him I, i've gotten some rides from some individuals that um that were a little bit different a little bit odd um and they didn't exactly make me feel feel like fear for my safety but um it was just uncomfortable yeah so a yeah. little bit different um, so i'm i'm gonna assume that you had some good experiences with um people picking you up as a hitchhiker yeah, because i did say we i picked this gentleman up yesterday and um it was on 20 i think we're on 20, 20. in oregon and it's a little two-lane highway with nothing no gas stations and very little traffic and when i picked you up you were out of water i was out of water and um, typically I you try to, and your babies were thirsty I, I try to get rides close to an edge of a town and i was trying for the last week or so at the last town but nobody's giving me a ride and i noticed a long time ago that um, if I'm really trying to get a ride, if I start walking, I usually get it within the, you know, that 24 hours. Um, I've never not had it happen like that. Um, but at any rate, <clears throat> I was very glad. I mean, I'm very grateful. I might not have, by the way, for all y'all are saying, I shouldn't be picking up hitchhikers. I've done videos about picking up hitchhikers before, but... I usually like do a little interview, a really quick, like two minute interview just to see what they're like. But his baby, which I'll show you pictures I've seen in our video, just kind of jumped in the door and um, I said, okay. So, and I'm glad I did it because they were all out of water. All three of them were very thirsty and I was planning on going farther down the road, but I felt bad leaving him on that really um, not very well-traveled road. So we're camping at this really cool place uh, with an old windmill. So my hitchhiker is camping with me now. And to me, he's another n nomad, just a different kind of nomad. Would you agree you're yeah, um, kind of a, just a different kind of nomad? Yeah. Um... 
for the most part, um, I, all I've really ever done is travel, and I'm trying to find uh, something I can call like my home or like my tribe or like. Um, so you want to stop traveling this um, way? Eventually, but at the same time, no. Um, a lot of my people already do travel this way. We all just meet up random places in the country at, at different music festivals or, or venues or um, or different uh, shows. So this this way of being a nomad is harder, I'm sure, than any other way to other kind of way to be a nomad. But you've enjoyed it so far. But you're thinking about your other options. Is that yeah? I'd say it's, right? it's rewarding. Um, I meet, like I said, a lot of interesting people, and I meet. Um, but it's very tough. Generous. It, it can be. What, yeah. what you want to tell us about? Like, what's the hardest thing about living this way? I would say, um, for the most part, it is camping, um, finding good spots, shelter when, when you're inside of, like a city, um, finding somewhere that is, I guess, legal for the most part. Um, Right, because like for me in a vehicle, it's always hard for me because I have to worry about a, a, a police officer knocking on my window. Very similar, waking me up in the morning right. and then I have to worry about how my dog interacts with them and then how I'm interacting with them because if I'm aggressive, they get aggressive. But also they probably view you like they do more so than, more so you than me, like these, a lot of police officers see me like as a homeless person. And they'll probably see you as like a homeless person too, which you are. Yeah, they see, and I, they see me as a transient is what they right. call it. Um, <clears throat> but you chose this life. There's a difference between like homeless and like um, home free in my opinion. Homeless is um, where like your house burned down from a natural fire or like there was a flood. You got displaced. You lost your home. Well, like home free, you get to choose We're it. We're choosing and then there's, to like, live this there's life. There's hobos and then there's tramps and then yeah. there's... Um, bums like hobos are, are travelers that look for work and find work when they find it um tramps are very similar to hobos they travel but they usually don't look for work they will work if it finds them but they usually don't and then there's just bums which yeah well um, wh whatever you want to call different kinds of people i and i mentioned this in another video that i've had a completely different perspective and really felt more of a connection with all different kinds of people people who travel like Jay or people who are homeless not by their own choice like what you were mentioning and I feel more connected like and less judgment than I used to when I lived in a house definitely um we're all we're all out Where, here like this together. gentleman was like if you're living in sticks and bricks right now and you're picturing me driving down the road on this lonely highway and seeing this young man with this giant backpack and oh my gosh i don't know how y'all do this with these they have these packs how much do you think your pack weighs typically anywhere from like 45 to, to 75 pounds if not more so um, i carry a lot of dog food and then i usually have like a gallon or two of water plus um, your essential items gear. yeah my sleep you have a gear. hammock and yeah and then like you know just some fun things as well um that's sure. why it ranges um sometimes but i, I respect more. these dudes for like carrying around these giant packs but <laughs> i also longboard so i have to keep keep it a, a certain weight or else i can't really move on the board um my girl pulls me but she, she's starting to get a little and he had a cat on his shoulder yeah, when i picked him up so i can i know when if you were driving down this road and you saw this very polite respectful young gentleman you would see possibly just a grubby homeless person walking on the road but what i saw was a man who was traveling and trying to get from one place to another and on this lonely road so i'm not saying you should change your opinion when you're driving down the road i'm not saying you should start picking up hitchhikers because i have a pretty good sense of people but i just want to show you um, i'm not saying everybody deserves a ride either i'm all it's true cool. And um, I, like I, I said, I usually do like do a little two minute interview nor to do see. I expect one. Like I never really try to expect a ride because I think that's kind of rude. Um, I'm not, I'm not in a position that anybody like owes me anything. I'm always grateful for the help, but not everybody's like me. I've met a lot of people out on, here on the road that aren't the best people that are like desperate or um, they don't think that you'll ever see them again because they travel. And so they think they can do whatever they want. Right. And so there is some people that you might have to watch out for. But, but there's all there's good and bad people everywhere. Always, always. So, so you can't to. judge 
Travelers um, by a lot Matt of them will be grateful. A lot of them will be grateful and they'll help however they can. But, like, but we shouldn't expect anyone to be grateful. But I just, I think this is great because when you're driving down the road and you see a gentleman walking down the road or, or a young lady, um, it's probably a nice person like Jay. Most likely. Well, thank you so much. Is there thank anything you. else you want to say? I hope everybody has a good time people? out there, and I hope everybody stays safe on their own travels. Other than that, no, not really. Is there anyone you want to say hi to? No. Hi to everybody. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Jay. Have a good day. Oh, that was awesome.